Hey everybody, welcome back with another CQB Close Quarter Battle Battle Report. We're on a mission to Operation Scorpion. Um, and if you watched the Let's Play for CQB, you've probably seen what happened to poor um, Stony Man Group operatives, Lunchbox and Striker. They blew up a drug lab deep in the jungle, and as they made their escape in a stolen vehicle, they realized they were betrayed by the army lieutenant that, that flew them in. They were sold out basically after the explosion. Um, and they're being chased by a helicopter. They've run out of gas in their vehicle and the cartel is closing in. So um, this is a branching story mission. When you play through Operation Scorpion, there's basically outcomes for every mission. The, the one that we got is betrayed. So having successfully blown up the drug lab uh, and not been like killed, we're not just like on the run from, you know, like a failed mission, we're on the run from a successful mission, which makes everybody even matter. And they've sent a bunch of cartel heavies to try and kill us. Now it's dark outside, which means line of sight is reduced to eight inches total. But every single turn, the helicopter is going to drop a spotlight into the jungle on one of the two operatives at random. And that person, anyone within three of them can be targeted freely, basically ignoring the darkness rule. So it's going to be dangerous. We're also suffering low ammo, which means we can't take the reload uh, skill, but we can loot any cartel member who is um, incapacitated, gets put in their side. There's no like endless wave this time around. And we can loot their weapons basically um, over the course of the game to use additional guns and try and find something that has ammo in it. So I'll show the table, we'll show you the mission, and we'll get this underway. All right, so we are set up for mission to a trader's ambush. The operatives return to their pickup location only to find that their pickup is not waiting for them. If they escape the drug lab in a vehicle, it ran out of gas and they're now on foot. Lying in wait are the drug lord's thugs assisted by the cartel from above is a helicopter with a searchlight flown by the National Army. The operatives must fight their way out before dawn or be captured by the cartel. So the operatives must escape off any battlefield edge before the round limit. I only have six turns to do it in though. Um, you have a uh, three by three table. It should be like basically a rural location, so somewhere near a road, lots of rocky outcroppings, um, my broken down vehicle obviously, and trees and jungle. Um, then we've got uh, insurgents, there's four cartel heavies, two have um, uh, ARs and two have SMGs and pistols. They're all cool head, uh, which is cool, and trained. And then uh, six cartel thugs. They're all green, three of SMGs and three of assault rifles. Our operatives, of course, returning, both have the same skills as last game. So we have lunchbox and SMG, pistol and knife. Now she's got low ammo right now, which means that she'll be um, unable to reload her weapons, but she can loot the corpses. Uh, and then we have striker with his assault rifle pistol. Um, they both have cool head. She has inspiring and he has charge as special skills. Uh, so we are ready to rock and roll our turn one. Now the start of every insurgent turn, well, a light's gonna go down at random. Now, because I'm using the solo rules for this, I'm just gonna randomly decide which one it happens to, as opposed to choosing. We are um, a cartel heavy with an AR and two SMG thugs on this side. We have a cartel heavy with an AR and a SMG thug, and then an AR thug and a cartel heavy with an SMG, and then two ARs and a SMG um, heavy on the other side. Basically, if you get any side of the table here, and we don't really have a great place to run. <laughs> so I, I'm not sure if we go into the woods or not. Definitely split up, because if we're in three inches of each other, one, like we're both getting shot, unfortunately, at this point, which is bad. So I think we dip forward and use the truck as cover. Well, we got three actions for each of you. Now, which way is the best way to get out of here? I feel like we're very exposed on the road from both these teams. So like picking a side, I think, to run down feels like the best way to do it. So I think we're both gonna go this way and hope for the best. Um, so we're gonna start with Striker. Striker's gonna go four, whoops, I got moved. It's gonna go four to the edge of this. It's gonna cost him one up, one over, one down, and then another to move again. He is gonna wait for his third action. Well, she's gonna do much the same thing. She's gonna go two, four to go to here. Or does she just want to go the other way? I think she's just going to go over the other fence. I think we're just going to go path least resistance and get these fences in between us. We're going to go two or four to the edge and then two into this shrubbery. We are also going to wait. So where's the helicopter spotlight? Is it going to be on one to five striker or on six plus lunchbox? It's lunchbox. Literally everybody can see her. This is not great. Uh, okay, well, let's start with you then, cartel heavy. Do you shoot? You don't? Closest, sorry, so you can see the closest. So, shoot the closest, you've got two base skill, plus two for your AR. Um, lunchbox is two, plus her train level of three, plus she's in um, the woods for four. 
Uh, so, sorry, two, six, five, six. Six is dead. Uh, so one miss, and then one, two, three pins, but that's not enough to get over her training level, so she doesn't take it again. He does. And... Uh, one, two hits, which again isn't over her training level, but it does make her go prone, because as soon as she hits five pin markers, she has to drop prone. So she drops prone in the woods, which will give her an additional level of cover, which is cool. So I'm not within eight, so I can't shoot back. But I could move, which I'm going to do. I'm just going to move two forward, or one forward, crawling through the woods with my weight token. I can't move, never mind, uh, because it's my third move for the turn, if that was the case. Now, you have to make an ammo check there, Heavy. You're fine. Then it's the SMG with three dice. Does it shoot? Does. Shoots the furthest, but can't see anybody. So then I think that's just going to be shoot her. Uh, one, two, three more pins. So she takes a wound because she goes to six pins. That's her one action. Well then, over here, uh, Cartel Heavy can't see. So moves four and then moves four. So basically just moves eight towards the nearest, which will be... I guess just straight ahead. Uh, can't see either because she's gone prone now. So five is just going to be a moves forward four. For this green cartel member, moves forward four. Deal with the rock. So the trained will move towards him. And then are you within eight? You are not. So second one. She'll move towards him again. I'll spend my weight to shoot. She couldn't see, well, she doesn't even have range to lunchbox. So uh, three plus two for the AR is gonna be five dice. Uh, hitting on fours, because that's a trained cartel member. Uh, one, two, three, so that's over pin, so it causes a wound. And she's got three pin markers. This cartel member is just gonna move and go four over to here. Last three. Eight, uh, not in range with the SMG, so it just moves up four. Then in range, 10. Uh, 10, I think, is shoot. Actually, 10 is move towards cover. <laughs> and then five is going to be shoot, so in range with the AR. So, actually, sorry, it's an SMG again, <laughs> so that might not even be in range because that heavy's got a SMG and is out of range. So we'll just move again. Last one with an AR. Is that a range? So it just moves. That's turn one. So we're on to turn two. And that means new phase. So uh, the light goes away. We'll find out during the insurgent phase where it gets placed. And we're going to start with you, Striker. You're within eight now, so you're going to blast that trained insurgent with your AR. Uh, just do two wounds, but you got to make an ammo check, and we're low ammo. You're fine, so it just gets exploded. Then you're gonna move with your charge skill and come slamming into here. Your knife, you are training level three and an extra die for the knife. Uh, that is training level two, so fours. Yeah, you just stab her in the neck because you get your free charge action. And then you're just gonna move again. Go four around to here. Well, all we can really do is reset our pins with a double rest because rest is the only action you can make when you're um, this badly hurt and then we will wait. That's so when you're fully pinned, so double rest and then we have an action left after that because we no longer have any pin tokens, which means we just wait. Like a one to five, it's on striker and then six plus it's on lunchbox. Striker this time, oh goody. Captain must have heard the screams over the radio of the two insurgents he just murdered. Um, so that means that because we're at eight at least, we're gonna be able to not get shot immensely. Um, so starting over here with this cartel member, She's gonna move up four. Uh, I'm not gonna use my weight action, but then this cartel member is also gonna move up four. I'll use my weight action on him, because he's got two actions, and that's terrifying. So SMG at that range is gonna be five dice in the open. Uh, so three ammo checks and two hits, which is just two pin markers. But that will cause him to um, uh, lose his last action, so his last action will be to rest, and he'll go down to one pin marker. Ammo checks on six plus. 
Oh yeah, we're down to pistols only. The SMG's empty. And then uh, his second action is going to be to shoot. So with his AR, it's four dot. Oh no, he hit to rest. Never mind. It's going to be over here. So not under the light. So we move randomly with the leader and go four inches this way. Ooh. And then we roll again because he's got two actions. And he moves randomly again. And he goes four inches this way. It's because he heard all the shots over here. He wasn't sure what's happening. Uh, this guy is just going to move towards the nearest, which will be three over. And then this guy will also move towards the nearest. Right, not within eight with this trained fella. So he's going to advance over to here and then he's going to blast with his SMG. SMG has four shots at this range because he's trained plus two. And that means uh, train level three, cover for, sorry, train level three plus two is five, cover for six, prone for seven. So seven's to hit. Totally misses. And these last two, both with no line of sight, we just move towards four and then him move towards four. Really closing on lunchbox and she's out of bullets. Round three, things aren't going great, but that's okay. Uh, this goes away because we don't know where the light's gonna be. I think we just move out for one inch and then move over for three inches. And then coming along the side of this woods, we're just gonna clip these two. Oh, so still have our assault rifle. I think we're within eight. Within eight. So we're gonna move two inches into the woods just to get some cover. Now we're within eight. We're gonna shoot here. Five shots. We're gonna try and shoot the heavy because we want him dead. He's got uh, cover uh, and train level two. So five's to hit. Actually, and the fence. So six is to hit. Uh, wound, and then one, two, three pins, which just kills him. Well, switching to our pistol, uh, we gotta try and kill some people here. So we're gonna start, who's within eight? Who can lunchbox see? She can see basically everybody. So we're gonna try and first shoot that cartel heavy. He's already got a pin. Uh, pistol's only four dice. Actually, no, we're gonna shoot here, because you can see us. So shooting in the open, that's gonna be threes to hit. Just blast that one. No, no, no having to reload. She'll shoot here. Same thing. Three's uh, forced to hit this time. Uh, wound, and then one, two pins. He's got three on him, so it takes him to three. I cause an extra wound. He is down to one action. Third action, she's just gonna crawl two for the three. Ah, no, because she can't shoot again, so she's gonna crawl two through the woods. All right, one to five, it's lunchbox. Six, or sorry, one to five, it's striker. Six plus is lunchbox. Lunchbox all lit up again. Bad, but everybody's with an eight, so we're all getting shot anyway. Um, all right, so over here, uh, lose a pin for cool head, but then still have two pins, so double rest. Or sorry, single rest, actually, with the last action. He's only got one action because he's wounded. Or he's not, not one action, down to... Um, he has two actions, actually. He does double rest, which gets rid of actions for pins, not wounds. Uh, then... This guy can see lunchbox, so the AR gives him four dice. She's training level three, prone for, uh, sorry, uh, two, three, four, five for training level, six for cover, seven for prone. So sevens. Uh, does another wound. Uh-oh, lunchbox. So two pins. And then second shot, does he shoot again? Yep. Uh, that's gonna be another wound. So she's out. She's KO'd. That means these two are gonna head towards and towards. They both head towards Striker. Uh, shooting Striker? Yep, sure are. So that's gonna be three dice. Striker's gonna be uh, two, three, four, five for training, six for cover. Uh, two pins. And then over here, are we in range? We are not. No, we're just out. So moving. Yes. So two over, one up. One over. All right, well, cool head, we lose one of these. Four, which is bad, because I don't think we're gonna be able to rescue Lunchbox. So I think we have to just kill and run. We are going to, because you're just gonna be under the light from now on, which means you're gonna get shot like crazy. There's two AR guys left. So yeah, you're just going to blast. How's the AR, so threes. Just explode, no ammo check. Second action, threes. Uh, does have to make an ammo check, but also kills him with just pin markers. Ammo on fours, we're still good. Arrest your last one off. You're automatically lit up by the helicopter. Uh, these insurgents are out of range, so the first one goes in a random direction, gets lost, and just goes this way. Huh? Uh, that one will head towards you, going four. Wounded bro, uh, he's gonna move towards. And then again, He's gonna move towards. So one, two, three, four, going over. And then the last one, 
uh, it goes towards cover, and then again, goes towards the character. So we'll go four over there. Ranger line of sight, so turn five. Uh, I've got like one turn to get away, two turns to get away. If I keep the trees between us, I'll actually get away. I think what I want to do is just move. I want to move somewhere where I can just keep the trees in between us and then wait. So it's going to be two inches to get out. And then we're going to go. So we're basically within one move of the edge back like that. And then we'll just wait. And we'll go prone. Nah, we'll just wait. All right, so the light automatically shines on Striker again. So this fella is going to move towards me because he can't see. And then he's got an SMG, so he's out of range, so he'll go again and move. Same over here, assault rifle, but only one action. So it's out of range right now, so it means he moves forward. If I can kill one more heavy, I'll feel good. And then wounded heavy, he has an assault rifle, so he'll move into range, hopefully. And then he's going to have to blast. Ring plus two for assault rifle, and it's going to be uh, two, five for training, six for the big piece of training in the way. Shoot into the woods. Uh, so one pin marker, and then an ammo check for him. He's good. Pin marker. So we're okay. Last guy, nine. He's just going to move forward to here. I'll use my weight just to walk, because I only moved once so far. Yeah, I'm gonna walk with an eight because I want to kill that heavy. So I'm gonna walk over to there, whoop, with my weight. Last for the game, six. If I can just kill this heavy, I'll leave. <laughs> so he loses his pin for cool head. And then I'm with an eight. So I'm just gonna try and blast this guy with my AR, my last clip. So that's going to be uh, train level two plus two plus covers fives. Uh, Ten is just a wound. And then one, two pins, which pins him down but doesn't kill him. And then I think I just move. And then move again and leave. I only killed two cartel of you, so that's gonna end the game, because I'm I'm off table. But what's next? I've scored for my grand total for this whole operation. Uh, six in the first mission, and then I've got plus one for exiting the battlefield before the round limit ended, and then plus one, plus one for two cartel of these. So three victory points in this mission. Oh, I could have rerolled a die there. I had a fortune. I'm gonna reroll a die. <laughs> I made an ammo check. <laughs> I didn't actually kill that guy, so I didn't get to four victory points. Um, and then what's next? Fighting their way out and eliminating the cartel ambushers, the operatives from a trying to strike back. I didn't do that. If both operatives escape, I play revenge. But caught in the trap, the operatives are subdued and taken back to the cartel camp. If neither or only one of the operatives escapes before the round limit, play five, jailbreak at dawn. So basically, he gets away, realizes she doesn't make it, and then surrenders to the cartel, and they both get captured. All right, so in the post game, uh, we're going to be fully healed on... Uh, so, sorry, first loot weapons are all given away. Um, each model that was not killed at the end of the game gets fortune points. I get a second fortune point now on uh, Striker. Wounded operatives that make it off the battlefield are healed. I didn't have any. Wounded operatives that did not escape the battlefield remove their wounds and roll a d10. KO'd operatives that exited roll d10 plus 1. But operatives that KO'd and did not escape the battlefield roll d10 plus 2. So let's see what happens to poor Lunchbox. 5. Nerve damage. She's minus 1 d10 in hand to hand. We're getting that status marker for the remainder of the mission. So we got with the end of the mission, uh, being captured and surrendering ourselves to the cartel, try and rescue Lunchbox. We have to break out in a dawn escape. So it's going to be all very great escape in the next episode as we try and get away. And, uh, you know, this mission's gone, gone good at the beginning, but bad at the end. So we'll see if we can get a little bit of revenge and maybe escape with our lives in two weeks. Until then, big thanks for watching. I'm Ash. Have a great day. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look through the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Desperate Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements, like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. 
As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.